Hello, my name is Thomas Rebelay. I'm currently a fourth year food science major attending the University of Maine. In today's video, I will be discussing what enzymatic browning is. Enzymatic browning is an undesirable trait that is responsible for the discoloration of fresh cut fruits and vegetables. Polyphenols, also called phenolite compounds, are a group of chemicals found in fruits and vegetables naturally. They play an important role during the enzymatic browning because they are substrates for the browning enzymes. Enzymatic browning is a chemical process involving poly polyphenol oxidase and catechol oxidase and other enzymes that create melanin and benzoquinone from natural phenols. Fruits and vegetables that are high in polyphenol oxidase include apples, potatoes, mushrooms, peaches, avocados, and bananas. Now that we have a brief understanding, let's get into the science behind the transformation. Normally, when fruits or vegetables still have the skin on, it prevents molecules called polyphenols or phenolic substances from reacting with air. On the left, we see two freshly sliced apples. On the right, we see a freshly sliced potato. When a piece of vegetable or fruit is sliced, polyphenol oxidase in the presence of oxygen starts the enzyme catalyst. This is the first step in the biochemical conversion of phenolic substances to produce quinones, which undergo further polymerization to yield dark, insoluble polymers referred to as melanins. For the first reaction to take place, oxygen must be introduced. This is called an oxidation reaction. After about 15 minutes, we can see the reaction begin to take place. Here's another view of all three slices after about 15 minutes. What exactly is an oxidation reaction? If you remember the parts of an atom, the proton and the neutron are in the center. The electron is just flying around the center. Oxidation is the loss of an electron, essentially. Oxygen is extremely good at taking electrons from molecules. Once this electron is gone, the phenolase and the oxygen work together in order to take the electrons from the phenol molecule. This means that the two substances react in the presence of oxygen and over time produce the unwanted brown color in fruits. Here we can see the reaction really well after about 30 minutes of exposure to the air. So how do we stop this reaction you ask? The first way to prevent the brown color is to also reduce the supply of oxygen available to the fruit. You can place the slices in a bowl of cold water. This will reduce the speed at which the reaction takes place. Another way to reduce the rate at which this reaction occurs is by simply sprinkling a little bit of lemon juice on top of the slices. This will reduce the pH levels on the surface of the fruit. Hopefully, after watching this video, you'll understand just a little more about why your fruits turn brown and enzymatic browning.